I honestly don't know what any of this stuff is, like, not even the bread. <laughs> This is Nick. He's a professional chef at the Platform Tavern. He loves trying out new recipes, cooking for friends, and has ambitions to set up a pie truck. This is Tobias. He's not a chef. He's a student, a vegetarian, and describes his cooking style as experimental. One of his most recent meals was pasta and squirty cream. We made them swap kitchens. The challenge? We gave them a mystery ingredient and told them to make a dish. Their only rule was to use utensils and ingredients owned by the other. We gave them an hour. Let's see how they got on. Your ingredient is... What is that? Lovely. Okay. So we got that nut squash. Right. And I've got to cook something with this in. Do you have to, like, cut it? I've so got a lime, a pepper and some ginger. I don't think this is how you're supposed to. Oh, maybe. What the hell is this? It's alien fruit. How am I going to cook them? Mm. I'll turn the oven on to grill. Up to about 200. Preheat that. Get this lovely tray over here. Just break that off. Always have a bowl to collect your peelings and your rubbish. Always helps out, especially when your kitchen's already a mess. You don't want to make any more. I don't know, if I fried it, it could be um, edible, possibly. So, I'm going to cut this squash up into cubes and I'm going to grill it off with a bit of lime and ginger. Is it edible raw? Can you eat that? It's like watermelon. Then we just go around the inside of this with a knife. As opposed to scraping it out, you just literally cut behind the bit where the seeds are. So I've got a lime. Just going to cut it down the middle. Use all the juice. I'll act like any kind of water or oil instead, it's just juice, that won't burn. And then the best way to peel a bit of ginger is just by scraping off the pith with a knife. I've made two glasses and I'm going to slice this into cubes or something. I'm going to cut it up and maybe put it in a salad depending on what else we have in here. I've got a piri piri spice. Hey, peri peri means twice, twice hot basically, in a loose translation. So that's chili and garlic, so that's pretty damn good. Put that right on there. Uh, got my lime in that, that's lovely. So I'll grill those off. That'll take quite a while. Bit of all your rubbish, that's not rubbish. And the bin. Where's the bin? <laughs> I shall make a bin. Using this Tesco's bag. Onion would work? Maybe would onion work? Onion? I'm going to sweat these onions and peppers down. With a little bit of sunflower oil, which is perfect for a curry. On the theme of not knowing what the things I'm cooking are, I've got this because it's I'm going to see if it tastes like the other things. It looks like it might. It's got like a tough skin. Uh, so it's probably not good while raw. And I've got some like peppers because they've got a pull thing and these don't. There's always plenty of sponges in student houses. What do I do with these? About half a tin of those. Here we are. Back up a bit. Get that there. Could make some falafel. Falafel's good. How long does that take? Instant. I think that's enough.
I don't think that's right. Let's just add a little rinse and that's just to wake up the starches. So, done the falafel. Okay, they need to be golden brown. That's plenty of there for a rice. No. How do you turn this off? Nice white bed rice. After a lot of hard work, their meals were finally ready. Yeah, this is my, uh, my falafel and salad. Yeah, I think it's come well. So then we've got a nice grilled butternut squash with lime, ginger and a bit of chilli and garlic and a nice nutty chickpeas on top. Now, let's see what they make of each other's food. Okay, put on a little bit more salt and for apple. Other than that, it's really nice. Considering the time it took you to do that, I'd give you, I'd give you about six out of ten. I'm very happy with that, thanks. Okay, very welcome. It's really good. I was going to give you 5 out of 10, so I won. <laughs> but I'm probably going to go with like 8. 8 or 9. That's good. Because it's really good. It's one of my favourite foods as well.